What's up, peeps? Thanks for joining me. My name's Damon Warren, and this is Day One Adventures. And today's adventure, we are at Six Flags Great Adventure over in New Jersey. On today's adventure, I'm going to show you what's new, what's going on. This is their 50 year anniversary. So I'll share with you some of the tips that I picked up along the way, what's new for this year, what's going on, and help you maximize your trip. So, time for an adventure. So Six Flags Great Adventure is not that far. It's a really good place to go to. I like going there. It takes me about an hour and 20, hour and a half to drive there from Wilmington, Delaware. The first thing, getting tickets, I have a season pass because I go there multiple times a year. And with the season pass, you get parking included. So that might be something that you might want to think about if you're going to go there multiple times. If you are just planning on going there a day with people, I highly suggest purchasing your tickets online and then possibly asking one of your friends if they have a membership to Six Flags and they can purchase you tickets at a discount price. But definitely check on the prices online because the prices do fluctuate due to the, the time of year and the day of the week. So check online for your tickets. So on top of that, you'll be paying for parking. There's a couple different options as far as parking because parking is based on the vehicle. So you can meet outside the park at some other place and everybody gets in one vehicle and then drives in like a van or a truck or something like that, a SUV. So you meet up outside the park and then you all drive in in one vehicle and you can save that way on parking. So the next thing is as far as eating options. Now the prices in the park are a little higher because you're paying a premium for eating in the park. They do have dining passes uh, that you can add on or do one for a day. Most of the food is about $20 and you'll get usually like a fries or different things. I ate at Johnny Rockets. I picked up the eating plan for this year. It was on sale. A lot of these sales will happen at the beginning of the year. So I get two meals each visit and they have to be three hours apart. But if you're not looking at buying food inside the park, they do not allow you to bring food in the park. You can bring a, a container. They do have refilling stations. But as you pull into the park, if you get off of 95, as you're going down the road, there are a couple different food options that are there. So there is a Burger King, there's a McDonald's, there's a Wawa, there's a 7-Eleven, Starbucks, a Taco Bell, a KFC, Onions, uh, pretzels. So there's a lot of different options prior to going in the park and they're within two miles of the entrance to the park. So you can stop at one of those places or a market, load up a cooler, put it in your vehicle. And once you're in the park, you can come back out and go back in as many times as you want. So you can always be in the park, come out, grab a snack, relax, turn on the air conditioner, whatever you're doing, and then go back into the park. And that helps you where you don't have to spend money on food and everything. And there are a couple of different uh, picnic areas around outside the park. So that's a good option for food. So there are a lot of different options for food outside the park. And once you're in the park, some of the rides don't allow you to take anything when you're waiting in line. So there's no, no cell phones, no wallets, no keys, nothing. No fanny packs, none of that stuff. So they have these lockers that you can rent. And the lockers range from, you can do it for that ride for two hours, and that's $2. Or you can do a locker for $10, and that's all day. So if you look at that and you say, hmm, we might be here all day, let's just get a locker inside the park for the whole day. Which I usually suggest if you're gonna be there for a whole day, because it's nice to have a locker. You can put things in there, and you don't have to lug them around and different things. So I'll find a central place where I'm going to generally be, maybe near the Joker, maybe near Batman. And I'll say, OK, this is going to be my general locker area and I'll get a locker and I'll use that locker for the whole day. And I'll, I'll spend the ten dollars. But I know I have that convenience of the locker. Now, there are lockers also outside of the park. So once again, if you have some food or different things, you can put it in a locker outside the park so you don't have to walk all the way back to your car or your vehicle 
you can put it in one of the lockers near the entrance. Now, as far as rides and different things, I highly suggest getting the app prior to going in the park. The app will show you the wait times for the different rides, the locations, all the different food options. The, the app is very helpful in navigating the park. And then that way you may look and say, oh, this ride's not running right now. You don't want to walk all the way over there. You can say, oh, let's do this ride and the wait times however long and you can save a lot of time. So what I do a lot of time is I'll look at that list when I, I'm walking around the park and I'm going, oh, well, you know what? That ride doesn't have a long wait. Let me go over there right now and just get a quick ride and relax. So the app definitely helps you with that. Also, one of the things they have new for this year are the photos. So the photos are back. They have them at the, at the rides this year, and it's kind of a really nice experience. They give you a couple different photos, and there's like a little caption video, and it's unlimited. So if you pay for it and you get pictures with the, the characters, they take your picture and you get a QR code, you scan that, and all your pictures go on that QR code. And if you're a member, then you can tie it to your phone number. And all the pictures from that day, all the great experiences are on that one price for all the pictures. And you can do a season pass for that also. So you can pay for the season pass and get all the pictures all season long. So that's an, another good thing that way you can share it out to different people. And they're not doing, we, you, you, you pay for a print and then the digital is extra and each copy is different. They just, you know, pay once and you get as many, you can do as many copies as you want. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments and I'll try to get an answer for you or find out about it. Do me a favor, hit that like button, helps out the channel a lot, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Plan on doing a couple more videos like this. And until next video, remember, take care of each other, peace out, and I will see you all soon.